And it's time to spill the tea with Lady T. Hey, fellow tea sippers. All right, how do you go viral on day one of the new year? Well, you better ask Cat, comedian Cat Williams, y'all. So he was on Shannon Sharp's new podcast, Club Shay Shay, spilling the tea. All right, so in an interview, he discussed being canceled previously for his remarks about Michael Jackson and R. Kelly. Also, he discussed those Diddy parties that we were hearing about, and he said that he had to turn down $50 million four times just to protect his integrity, among other things. You know what I'm saying? All right, so Cat said 2024 will be the year when deviance will be exposed. He also took shots at comedians Ricky Smiley, Kevin Hart, and Steve Harvey wasn't even safe, y'all. Cat even said Cedric the Entertainer stole some of his jokes and added that Steve Harvey's afro was fake. The tea was just a little overwhelming, Mark. I don't know why we needed to know all this, um, but it was the interview we didn't know we needed to start 2024 off with, apparently. Yes, that <laughs> interview is at 37 million plus right now. Yes, and literally. He basically, but in all fairness, he was responding to the people who had been on Club Shake mm -hmm. So he was felt like he and had what set they the said. record straight. Yes, he was just setting Ooh. the record straight for two hours. He was setting it straight. That's right. <laughs> he two set hours. it straight. Yes. I mean, listen, okay, but yeah, more to come on that, I'm sure. Um, up next, you guys, after much speculation, the other major T is some baby news. Okay, so singer actress Haley Bailey now and her boyfriend rapper DDG welcomed a baby boy. The couple shared a photo on their Instagram of their bundle of joy. The post said the best part of 2023 was bringing their son into the world. Now, fans have been saying for months now that sis was pregnant, okay? And the couple <laughs> never confirmed it or acknowledged it until now. Honestly, they even pushed back against some of the questions about her physical appearance because it seemed like she was covering up with the dresses that she wore. Anyway, I'm sure a lot of folks right now are screaming, I knew it and I told you so. The baby's name is Halo, which I feel like is in honor of Queen Bee. You know, she signed to, you know, the uh, Queen Bee's record label, okay? Um, you know, Halo, the Beyonce song. Anyway, congrats oh. to them, but a little bit of drama there because we knew it. Like, Mark, we knew it. We said we knew it. And Her she, name is Halo. Halo. Oh, oh my gosh, you missed your calling as Halo. a singer. Mark, I, I'm so, I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> All right, up next, you guys, because the tea, tea keeps pouring. Oh. All right, so here is a tea cap of the Golden Globe. So Joe Coy, the comedian, hosted the award show, and viewers, unfortunately, say that he bombed. Now, a lot of his jokes fell flat, they say, including one about Taylor Swift. Now, he joked about jumbotron shots of her at the Chiefs game, her reaction was priceless. She clearly was not in the mood. Sis kind of just sipped her drink in response. But Joe blamed the writers. Also, he had like a week, like a week or less to prepare. He had just found out that he was going to do it. Anyway, major winners include the Barbie movie and Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer won for Best Director and Original Score. Robert Downey Jr. won for his role in the movie, too. Barbie won Best Cinematic and Box Office Achievement. Ali Wong, Devine Joy Randolph, they went home with some gold trophies as well. Honestly, it was a good slash kind of awkward night for everybody since Taylor Swift's movie Lost, which was the most <laughs> surprising thing. Come on, I, I, the Eras Tour? Lost. But you know what? Barbie won. I, I get it. It was, it was up against some heavy hitters, you know. It was up against heavy hitters. But Joe Coy, did you know he was going to fall flat, Mark? I, was, I, I saw it. You know, they always criticize. I didn't think he'd fall. I, actually, I was expecting him to fall flat. I watched it. I watched the opening. It was mm. fine. It was fine. You know, they always say they fall flat, though. Yeah, but I no. thought he did pretty good at some parts. They got to give him a little credit. And, you know, well, he, you know, they he hate, didn't have though. much time to prepare. Okay. Remember, no, because when Rich, Rich, Rich Gervais used to host, they said he was too mean. Oh, see? See? If you do too much, it's yeah. just, oh, you know, yeah. whatever. But you know what? Uh, we're hosting next year, Mark. It's like okay? our show. It was a <laughs> <laughs> we do too much. I'm just kidding. No, we love you guys. Thank you to our Be More Lifestyle viewers. That's it for the tea for today. Now, y'all know what to do at home. Y'all got to go sip on all that tea. That's a great idea, Lady <laughs> T. We're, hey, it's time for.